Just before we get into this, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do so. I'm so, so close to 10,000 subscribers, which is an absolute dream of mine. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that sub button, click the bell icon, and enjoy the ride. Blades, 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 welcome to a brand new video. I'm in good nick and in today's video we are going to be talking about Chris Wilder's future. So Chris Wilder has rocketed to the top in the last three seasons, taking the Blades from bottom of League One to eighth in the Premier League. And if you're new to the channel and not a Blade, here are his English Football League honours. He won the 2010 Conference Playoff Final with Oxford, taking them into League Two. After taking them as far as he felt he could, he moved on to Northampton in 2014, and the season after he guided them to the League Two title. However, after getting the Cobblers promoted, his boyhood club, Sheffield United, came calling. And after a string of terrible managers, a lot of Blades fans who hadn't followed Wilder's career were fearing the worst. I'm not sure if Kevin McCabe was watching Wilder's career and thought, this man is going places, or he just got lucky with the appointment. But to be honest, he tried lots of different managers before. One was eventually going to be half decent. Then within three seasons, Wilder had won League One, finished a respectable mid-table, then achieved championship runners-up in 2018-2019. So on to the main reason why you're here. This season, Chris Wilder's already shocked the world with his no-nonsense management style, his impeccable defensive displays, and the fact that the Blades are still playing overlapping centre-backs in the Prem, even though Steve Nichols said he couldn't. Well, I, I don't think it's a difficult decision. No, I know, I know, I know. Let's be honest, I know. you know, and particularly when you hear about the manager, Chris Wilder, talking about how they're going to continue to play the way they did in the Championship. Well, you know what? If you're going to have your centre-backs turning up in the opposition's penalty box in the Premier League, <laughs> you're going to get annihilated. So, listen, I'm taking him at his word. He's going to play the way they did then, and that means complete and utter disaster. <clears throat> Already fans of other Premier League clubs are pleading to take the chance on Wilder with the fact that he's steering the blaze to eighth in the league after just over a quarter of the season gone, especially with looking at that team on paper. A ragtag bunch of League One slash championship players playing above their stations, pushing world-class players right till the very last minute. And that all stems back to the mindset that Wilder instills in the lads. Now seeing this overachieving team beating the likes of Everton, Arsenal and sixth place Crystal Palace, not to mention picking up away points at Chelsea and West Ham, it makes me think. Would Wilder leave his boy old club to take a sideways move? Yeah, maybe he'll end up with bucket loads of money from the likes of Everton or West Ham. But looking at the lads that are in his starting lineup, he doesn't need the money. It's all about his way of playing and what he expects from the group of players he's coaching. Also, Wilder's already created this innovative way of attacking where the fullbacks, centre backs, and central midfielders create these overloads in wide advanced areas, causing one of the three to be free to get low crosses into the box for the strikers to attack. And if he did take a medium sized Premier League job like Everton, West Ham, etc., how would he set up? Would he try and use the Blades model or something completely different? After all, he hadn't always played this way. However, right now, as I see it, if the Blades keep this run going and finish up mid-table, Wilder will be given money to strengthen the team, and then we could be seen as a mid-table Premier League team. Which begs the question, why would Wilder make a sideways move to start all over again? This brings me on to the top six, or should I say top seven, now Leicester are fancying the chances. Liverpool, City, Chelsea, Leicester are all happy with their managers, and rightly so. Plus, they all look like they could be there in five years' time still. Man United won't take on another manager without European experience, again. Arsenal have too many foreign prima donnas for Wilder to cope with. And they'd look abroad again, I've got no doubt about that. Spurs on the brink of doing a Man United and maybe having to do a rebuilding job if the stars that aren't performing decide they want to change the scenery. But Poch is still an excellent manager and I can see them letting Poch do that rebuilding job if it comes to it. So where will Wilder go? That, my friends, is where the England job comes into play. Wilder has the knack of getting the best out of average players, which screams to me 
England. England have a mix of extremely mediocre players with a few current stars and potential future stars to pick from. Which sounds like it's right at Wilder Street. Plus England have two exceptional fullbacks with centre backs that can play football. And for me, I think the England job is the most perfect job for Wilder there's ever been. And having Wilder as the country's gaffer surely would make the England fans care about the national team once again. So in conclusion, I think Wilder should stay as a Blades manager for another four to five years, and then when Southgate's had enough or isn't getting the results, it's Wilder's time to win the World Cup for England and become Sir Chris Wilder. Or not, we'll have to wait and see.